なんでしょうかセールします。それはいいのですがそういえば
なんでしょうかセーブしますなにがいいかな何でしょうか何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何がいいかな何をこかな何をこかなどうしよう拝見するねいらっしゃいませ。いくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよこんにちは
らっしゃいませごめんあそばせこれですよこれいくらにしようかなそうですよありがとうございます売れたよレベルアップそうですね話にならん。バカバカしい。お疲れ様でした今日も頑張りましたね明日もこの調子でいきましょう仕事しますよ今日も頑張っていこうはい、何ですかなんびてけばす。
Lain kali, cop tempat dengan Betas. Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video. Well, hello there, everybody. I hope you are well. It's Mikey Mega Mega here. And today we've got something slightly different. This is my first ever How to Draw Anime Girls tutorial. So I want to say thank you very much for your feedback on this. This is what you wanted to see. This is what you're going to get. So no complaints. If you've just got standard printer paper, which is much lighter and thinner, that's absolutely fine. I would encourage you to get yourself some paper and a pencil at home and see if you can kind of join along at a similar pace. And paper mates, uh, pencil, HB. And as you can see, it's just a cheap pack that I've got full of these things. So nothing special there. Very useful as well. You've got a picture, number one, a pencil, number two, a hand. So if you've never held anything before, that's also useful for retards. Just to give you a bit of background on this, I thought I'd quickly put this together. Hope it makes sense. In that people tend to measure human bodies by the amount of heads that they are. If you watch any other tutorials, uh, you'll probably see this coming up as well. A standard adult female character um, might be a roughly eight heads tall. So here's the measurement of one of their heads, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more on top of that. However, what I like to do, um, or if you just want to keep them cuter or make them younger, is just lower that figure down. So I keep them cute girls a max about seven heads high, just like this one. Or you might go even lower if you want to make them cuter than that. Let's get that out of the way. So to crack on, with that blocking out process, I'm going to draw two characters. One I'll have um, slightly to the front, but an angle, and I'll do the same, I'll have another slightly behind to an angle. So I'm going to work out roughly where I want to start with the head, that's usually how I begin these things. And I'm going to get a circle going. Now what I'm going to do is try to draw these circles a little bit darker than I usually would in real life, so that hopefully it's going to show up on the camera phone a little bit better. So I'm starting with a circle here. And then what I'm going to do is follow the imaginary spine for a start to imagine roughly how this character is going to be. This character is going to be facing to the left, slightly away from us. And once I've got a rough head shape in, I'm going to think about where the middle of the head is or where the front is. And that's going to be roughly down here. And then I'm going to drop some lines off the edge of this circle to actually fill in as being the rest of this face. So one here. And then this will be the jawline coming back up here. So it might not make perfect sense at the moment, but basically this will be the cheek, the jaw, the ear, and it's all facing that way. And this kind of circle here, this ellipse, represents the side of the head. Now, after I draw a line in to kind of show where the body is, the next step for me, which is usually best, is putting in some lines to represent the angle of the shoulders. So I've got a strong line coming here, and then another for the angle of the hips. Another one coming here. And a good rule of thumb to keep the balance right is if one line's gonna be an angle for the shoulders, you want the hips generally to be slightly at the opposite angle as well. Because um, it just makes it kind of look curvier and bouncier. It's a great move to do. So now we can start actually blocking out this body. I've got my head. Then I'm gonna start with the top of the torso. And for that, I've got this kind of elliptical shape where it's going to slightly represent the rib cage. So I'm going to have something like this. Hope you can see that. And then I'm going to have a much smaller uh, circle or smaller partition area that's going to represent the middle of the torso and the abdomen at the front. And again, I'm using this guiding line that I've just drawn to kind of keep an idea of where the body's going. And then the best part, the hips, that's going to be, if you imagine, a flatter, inverted version of this, which is going to come Sork. out nice and wide. Never be shy with the hips. My. Use some more lines to represent the limbs. So if my shoulder starts about here, I'm going to want to have the arm come here, and then I'm going to want to have the arm kind of go off away from us at an angle over there. So I'm going to have a nice circle for the shoulder, 
Again, this is how we're blocking everything out. I'm going to have a nice circle for the elbow, which is really useful, and a nice thin ellipse, which is going to be the wrist, because this arm is foreshortened as it's going away. And then I'm going to do the same over here. I want the arm to go down here off the side of the hips. So I'm going to have a nice circle for this shoulder. You can see it's just behind the torso anyway. Uh, another one here for the joint at the elbow. And then that's going off, so I don't need to draw a hand down there. And I'm going to be doing a very similar thing for the legs. In this case, uh, both the legs are going to kind of fall off the bottom of this sheet of paper. Just by the size I've made the head, I already know kind of what size we're going to be having for the rest of the body and how far it's going to go off. But just use that guide I showed you earlier to give you an idea. So one leg's going to go off here, and then one leg's going to go more straight down here, so that she's kind of standing at a jaunty angle. And then I'm going to be making a nice kind of rounded semicircle to represent where this is joining. So it's kind of joining up here. This would be the bum here and here. And so we just come right off that, keep the curves. We've got leg number one about there. And leg number two is going to be coming in probably about here. Cool. So I'm just going to fill in the neck and bring that down as more of a line. It's going to certainly come up in here as well. And then for the arms, we're going to just quickly join this together. So gentle curving lines just to bring all this in. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but it gives you a good starting point. And then as you draw harder lines on top, then you can use that to actually reshape it as you see fit. So here's our foreshortened arm. That's going to be a challenge. And then we're going to have a hand over here. So I'm going to just make out the rough yeah, middle part of the hand. Yeah. Have a little lump over here for where the thumb joins. Yeah. Yeah. And then just pop in some knuckle joints. So I've got one, two, three, four for the knuckles. I'm going to hide for bottom two. And this character is going to be doing that kind of um, standard anime thing. Yeah. Where they yeah. go, oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah. So it's one finger up there. Keep those gentle curves. And then we're going to worry a bit more about the head. So, now we've got our first character facing away from us, um, but turning back and looking on itself. As for the head bit, to map out where we're going to keep the eyes, um, we're going to put a line yeah, about halfway through, so it follows where the top of the ear meets the face, and kind of comes round for the rest of the head, and then I'm going to use this to kind of help the everything go the face itself. So big anime eyes, we're going to use this kind of middle portion here to create kind of whatever we want. It's going to be a very So I'm starting with the top kind of hood of the eye, just maybe marking the bottom bit. And then, because it's at an angle, we're going to do a similar but much thinner version. And for top of that. So this one's going to come right down here, mark off the bottom, drop it there, and then draw in this other eye. So it's going to come through like that. Excellent. All I need then is to stick in the nose. So here's the area between the eyes. Right up in there. And then she's going to be big and excited. She's got a massive grin, massive smile. And that's the very basic blocking out I'm placing on this character. So what I'm going to be doing is going to go the old sex adish and give this character some really big boobs, um, which are just basically circles. So, go below the shoulder line, see I've drawn these smaller circles in. I'm going to have another line here, yeah, and then it. off of here I'm going to draw two big kind of drooping circle bags, or boobs. Yeah. So this is off the side, we're only going to get a bit of a sweet side the point already, all of a sudden, kind of standard girl to a boom. Right.
Nak beli tiket bas. Nak beli tiket bas. Nak beli tiket bas. Nak beli tiket. So, let's get another one in. Now we've got one from behind. We'll have one from in front. So, again, I'm going to start off with a little bit higher up. I'm going to do a slightly cooler uh, character. Maybe just a touch of So, again, I'm going to do a nice circle before we're going to have to hit down. Let's just get this in. Something like that. Again, do a much darker than I usually would. So, you can see it. I'm going to have the middle of the face. So, down here. So, again, it's a side angle. And once you are just dropping a line off, once it, this line meets about the same level as the bottom of the circle, we're going to be curving that in to meet the bottom of the centre line, so that's where the chin is, and then bringing it back up on the other side, not perfectly the same, but it is at a bit of an angle, and then pop in an ear round about there. So, to follow this pattern again, we're going to have a line on the top of the ear. You can see that the bottom half is well contained most of the face, so any eyebrows and things like that, they can start to right the eyebrows and the character's expression. So this one, she's going to be not having half as much as fun as this one. Um, this one's got the boobs, she's having a great day, this one's going to have smaller boobs and be a bit more moody about it. Just playing with it, really, it's fine. So, her eyes are going to be a little bit more. Uh -huh. Big ellipses again. And you'll notice, just like with this one, because the head's at an angle, this eye's coming much further And it gives that impression. Ever so slightly across her eyes. Have a play and see how it's going to be. That's it going to be. Oh, that's going to be. Oh, that's not going to be. Oh, that's not going to be. So, let's get this body down. It's going to be again. Right here. And then, you notice for a few things about this. Now, I'll add a sort of small touch on the legs. If the posture is good, it's going to curve into the legs. And then, kind of pops out again for the hips. So, following that, we're going to run some shoulders in, or some shoulder lines. This is going to be a fairly level budget. So, across there, it feels easier to level, but you just want to keep the hips level as well. So it's not going an angle, you don't need to counterbalance it with another angle. Hope that makes sense. So, let's put the neck in. Nice gentle line for the moment. We'll talk about all these other bits and talk of how they work together, perhaps in another episode. So cheeky neckline there, and then I'm going to once again go with a very vague torso shape. So I'm creating this very flat circular edge for the top of the shoulders, and then I'm going to replicate very roughly the shape of the rib cage, which is going to come around here, and then back up around here. Having done that, we're going to do the abdomen area which is going to be a bit of a straighter line here because she's going to have a flatter stomach and that curves in there so if you imagine the abdomen itself um, is a walled area that is roughly this shape however I'm worrying about that space just by bringing a line down here and then another line down here then we've got a hips bit so once again we're going to Bring a line off here and create this kind of nice, generous, curved area here and here. Now it's coming out more of a curve on this side because it's not perfectly central on the member. So this is bringing out some of that curve of the bum on the right, whereas this is just going over the hip bone itself. And then just bring that all in around about here. Cool. So once again, we're going to be putting in the limbs. So if we're going to have an arm on this side, it might say come down to here and then just hang casually here in hand and then on here we'll have the arm come out a little bit and again just kind of pop off to the side and wrist. So we're going to add in some shoulder circles just like before. We're going to add in 
circle for the joints and circle for where the wrist is. And just like I've done on here, once again, we're going to have a shoulder circle. You'll notice they're not perfect circles, but it's okay. Circle for the joint at the elbow and then a thinner ellipse for where the wrist is going to be. And we're once again just going to join those up gently with these curves. You notice this bump I kind of put in around about here for the forearm, just to kind of mimic that shape. And then same here, curve kind of here, sort of there, and then comes out a bit for the forearm and here the shoulder joint. And then works its way down. And then for the legs, these are going to be both. This one's going to go kind of down and back a bit. And this one's going to be just stepping forward ever so slightly. Barely that you'd see it. But enough for us just to kind of pop that line in. So we're going to follow these curves. Here's the kind of joint to the hip. And then this one is just curving so slightly back with that step. Cool. So we're not going to worry about a massive hands tutorial either today. So I'm just going to quickly put in the main part of the hand, the centre. I always kind of draw these little bits for the knuckles because it helps me personally place everything. Remember, this tutorial is my own personal method. This might not be the best method. Other people out there might know some great tricks. So go talk to them, if anything. Um, but do leave your feedback or questions in the comments below. I will endeavour to answer them. So here I'm just going to have another fat hand, thumb's going to go there somewhere, and then thumb's going to roll off. Don't need to worry about it, it's mostly hidden there, but it gives you the idea of what's going on. So remember, this one was slightly unhappier, because she has not got massive beads. So I'm going to go below these shoulder lines again, and let's give it just a little something something. Uh, so quite large boobs if you if you're a person in real life. Um, but we'll just go for fairly medium if anime. So I'm going to put the front centre of this and then just kind of balance everything. And then pop in some circles here. Like so. And then we're going to have another one over here. As well. like so. Okay. Now, what I like to do is. Create a tuck line that goes back to the shoulder. Uh, this helps with understanding how they hang a little bit in artistic terms. But not really a problem for this, we're keeping it fairly simple. So everybody, there you have it. You've got some basic framework as to how these two anime girl figures stand together. Um, you understand how they've been put together with some shapes, or at least I hope you found it helpful. And now I'm going to go into the time lapse side of things. I'm actually going to speed it up add some hair and details and clothes and then I'll see you at the very end when you're gonna hopefully have two lovely ladies looking at you but they're not real so you know watch it it's just
セーブしますただいま行ってきますやってやるぜくらえ
とりあえず町に戻りましょうお疲れですお疲れ様でした今日は頑張りましたね明日もこの調子でいきましょうおはようおはようございますはい何ですかセーブしますセーブします
んにちは欲しいものがあるのこれなんかどうでしょういくらにしようかなやったーありがとうございました売れたよこんにちはいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよこんにちはおーしいくらにしようかな<笑>ありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませこれいくらにしようかなわかったありがとうございました買い取ったよいらっしゃいませあのねいくらにしようかな<笑>ありがとうございました買い取ったよいらっしゃいませいいわねいくらにしようかなほんとにありがとうございました売れたよこんにちはごめん遊ばせいくらにしようかなそうですわありがとうございましたあったよどれにしようかな行ってきますただいまはい、なんですかどれにしようかなえい何をこかなえい何をこかなどうしようかな回転するねはーい Soka. ありがとうございました。買い取ったよ。いらっしゃいませ。ごめん遊ばせ。いくらにしようかな。そうありがとうございました。買ったよ。いらっしゃいませあのねいくらにしようかな<笑>ありがとうありがとうございました買ったよいらっしゃいませ<笑>いくらにしようかな<笑>ありがとうございました売れたよこんにちは
けようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませこれなんかどうでしょういくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよどれにしようかなえー、い何をこっちなどれにしようかな、えーセーブしますどうしようかなお店開けますよいらっしゃいませおーい<笑>バーカこれなんかどうでしょういくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませどうでしょういくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよおやすみおやすみなさい今日も頑張りましたね明日もこの調子でいきましょう仕事しますよ今日も頑張っていこう<音声>はい何ですかこかなえい何をこっかなえい何をこっかなえいどれにしようかなえいどれにしようかな何をこっかなえいどれにしようかな何をこっかなセーブしますなんでしょうかどうしようかなお店開けますねいらっしゃいませいらっしゃいいくらにしようかなございました売れたよいらっしゃいませごめん遊ばせ
ですいくらにしようかなそうですわありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませあのねいくらにしようかなありがとうございましたファイン取ったよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなわかったありがとうございましたファイン取ったよこんにちはあのねどうでしょう、うん、いいよいくらにしようかな<笑>ありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませあのねいくらにしようかなどれにしようかなえい、ー、はい、かなえい、ーお店開けますよこんにちはあのねこれなんかどうでしょう、うん、いいよいくらにしようかな<笑>ありがとうございました売れたよレベルアップこんにちはこういうのが欲しいんだけどありがとうございましたへへ<笑>いらっしゃいませいらっしゃいいくらにしようかなよかったありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませあのねいくらにしようかな<笑>ありがとうございました買ったよいらっしゃいませいくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよいらっしゃいませごめん遊ばせ
いくらにしようかな。そうです。ありがとうございます。買ったよ。いくらにしようかなありがとうございました売れたよなんでしょうか行ってきますセーブしますセーブしますセーブします